See, a lot of folks think, no, I'm not in poverty. I, I make 50 grand a year. I make 60 grand a year. I make 80 grand a year. I make 100 a year. But guess what? If you're living on more than what you make, if you don't have an emergency fund, if you're up to your eyeballs in credit card debt, if you got car loans that, that are upside down, you owe more than it's worth and you're carrying this big old gigantic car payment. And at the end of the month, you got to you got to you got to pick between do I pay the mortgage? Do I pay the rent? Do I buy groceries or do I pay this? That is financial poverty, guys. Did you not hear me? I was 26 years old. College graduate. Played three years in the NFL. And I was still financially in poverty. Guys, listen. Financial poverty comes in all shapes and sizes. It's just not somebody who is homeless or or someone who's on food stamps or somebody you see and you have pity for because they, they don't look like that. Guys, that's just one side of poverty. We got a lot of poverty in our country. We got a lot of poverty in the black community in this country. We got a lot of poverty in every community in this country. And the only way to get yourself out of financial poverty is you got to change your behavior with money. You do. I had to. I had to change my behavior with money or at 55 years old, I would still be in financial poverty. The only thing saves you from financial poverty, guys, is you got to change your behavior with money. I don't care how much you make. It's what you keep and what you multiply. I don't care what you make. Oh, I make, I make a great salary. Let me tell me how much of it you keep, though. How much do you keep? How much do you multiply? Does any of it come into your bank account from passive investments? Or the only thing that comes into your bank account is active earning, where I got to go out and trade time for money. Now, hey, I'm not knocking trading time for money because I did it for 25 years when I was in banking. But see, when I was earning that money in banking, I learned that it does not matter how much I make. What matters is how much I keep and how much I multiply. That's what matters. That's the only thing saves me from financial poverty in the long run. See, I had to clean up my spiritual poverty. I had to clean up my relationship poverty. I had to clean up my mental poverty. See, that was the big one for me was the mental poverty because I hadn't been told anything about money. I hadn't been taught anything about money up until 26 years old, even though I went to college, graduated from college. I didn't learn anything about how to keep money and multiply money. They taught me how to get a job. That's what college does, guys. It teaches you how to get a job. Doesn't teach you anything about how to keep money and multiply it. That's on you. Why is that? Because our financial system is set up so that 99% of Americans, 99% of Americans don't know how to keep money and multiply it so that 1% of Americans can prosper. That's the financial system in this country. But when you know that and you use that to your advantage, then, then and only then, will you move yourself from that financial poverty category. A lot of us think we're doing well, but we're really not. We think we're doing well because we got a good job. See, that's our safety net. A lot of us believe, hey, I don't know what this guy is talking about. I'm doing great. Listen, man, if you're working for somebody else and they pay you, 
they control your financial power. Therefore, they control whether you are in financial poverty because they control the money. They control the money that you use to take care of yourself. How in the world is that not financial poverty? When somebody else controls every single dollar that belongs to you, they control it. Guys, that's financial poverty. The only way you get yourself out of that is you got to build assets that generate income so that you can control your financial power, not someone else. So if you're getting up tomorrow, going to work for somebody else, I don't care if you're even getting up tomorrow, going to work at your own business. You're still controlled by what? Someone else. Why? Because if that person doesn't come in and buy one of your goods or services, you got no revenue. And if you got no revenue, you can't pay yourself. So now who controls your financial power? Your customer, not you. Your customer controls your financial power. So even if you're in business for yourself, your customer controls your financial power. If you go to work for someone, they control your financial power. The only way you 100% control your financial power and get yourself out of financial poverty is through assets. Sorry, that's the only way, through assets. Now, some people will say, hey, I get Social Security. I ain't got to go to work. Guess who controls your financial power now? The government, because they pay you your social security. The government decided they weren't gonna pay your social security anymore. What would happen to you? How long would you be able to last? For some of you older folks out there that's taking social security right now, how long would you be able to last if the government turned off the money printer and stopped paying your social security? Some of you that are not at the point where you're collecting Social Security, but you're, you're getting yourself there, right? You're thinking, okay, boom, I'm going to spend 10 more years, 15 more years working, and then I'm going to get my pension, and I'm going to get my Social Security, and I'm going to be good. If you're waiting on a pension from a company, then I would not put all of my eggs in that basket. Have you not been listening to what's happening with these pensions that these companies are investing these pensions with people out here in, in the world, whether it be hedge funds or institutional investors and who knows what these institutional investors and these hedge funds are doing with your money that's in the pension? Who knows? But I guarantee you go out online and you will find story after story of pensions being wiped out because why? Somebody else had your financial power. Somebody else was controlling the money that you had put blood, sweat, and tears in for 30 years. Understand, whoever pays you controls your financial power. If you want three free stocks, Weeble is going to give you three free stocks when you open a new Weeble brokerage account. Put any amount of money in that brokerage account. They're going to give you three free stocks for just trying out their brokerage app. There's a link down in the description box of this video. Go click on that Weeble link. Open up your new Weeble account today. Go get that free stock. Go get that free money. I'm going to also send you a Weeble tutorial video to walk you through how to use the Weeble app to make your first trade. All you got to do is send me an email. Let me know you've opened the Weeble account and I'm gonna send you that free Weeble tutorial video. Email address down in the description box of the video. Today's video is sponsored by my company, RF Financial Consulting. And in my company, I work with individuals just like you through financial mentoring and coaching sessions. And in those one hour sessions, we talk about strategies to help you get to your financial freedom, whether it be through real estate investing, stock market investing, 
creating additional streams of income, credit card arbitrage, or starting and growing a business. If that's something that you might be interested in, there's an email address in the description box of the video. Send me an email and let's discuss if I'm the right fit for you.